Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to solve quadratics and conics problems. So, conics um, are usually written, right, as quadratics, the form ax squared plus bx plus c, right, equals y, some form of that. But conics aren't always um, a parabola, they can, so they can be a parabola. They can also be um, uh, an ellipsis, right, or it can be a hyperbola or it can be a circle. So sometimes uh, a problem might say, what is this type of conic problem? Is it a, um, a parabola? Is it a circle? That kind of thing. Um, you can, so one, one way to solve that is that you can graph it and you can see the shape, um, but you can also see what kind of function it is, right? If it's ax squared plus bx plus c, this is an example of a parabola. So the more you do these problems, the more you'll become familiar with what kind of shape is formed in that intersection um, between the cones and the plane. You can also um, have a problem where it'll say, what is the vertex of this shape? So let's look at that kind of problem. The vertex is equal to negative b over 2a. So if we have a problem like this, this quadratic might be um, 6x squared minus um, 2x plus, let's say, 15. The, um, the vertex of this parabola, which would also be the axis of symmetry, right? Um, because if you have a, a parabola, this is the vertex, and then this is the axis of symmetry where you can reflect all those points across. So let's use this form for vertex, negative b over 2a. That's going to be negative 2 as negative b, so it becomes positive, so that's positive 2 over 2a, 2 times 6, which is 12. 2 over 12 is 1 sixth. So when we're graphing the parabola, um, the vertex is going to be at 1 sixth. And that's an example of a quadratic conic problem. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.